John Dewey was born on October 20, 1859 in Burlington, Vermont. His parents were Archibald Spray Dewey and Lucina Artemisa Rich. He had two older brothers, John Archibald and Davis Rich. He also had one younger brother, Charles Minor. However, John Archibald died before John was born. His father could not pass down his name again because of the pain he had from losing his son. Although John wasn't the oldest child, he was often treated and acted as the oldest by helping his brothers and parents. As a child, John Dewey attended Burlington Public Schools, then went to the University of Vermont, where he graduated second in his class. At the University of Vermont, Dewey studied philosophy under H.A.P. Torrey who had a big impact on his life. After graduating, Dewey taught high school for two years. While teaching, he still had the desire to pursue a career in philosophy. He decided to go back to school, this time going to John Hopkins, where he studied under George Sylvester Morris and G. Stanley Hall. The thoughts and ideas he learned from them were very influential to Dewey's early ideas and throughout his career. After earning his doctorate, Dewey got a job at the University of Michigan. Here he met his wife, Alice Chipman. Together they had six children. While working there, Dewey met another great philosopher, James Hayden Tufts. Together they wrote Ethics. Dewey followed Tufts to the University of Chicago where he wrote his first major work, The School and Society. Due to a disagreement with administration, Dewey resigned from the University of Chicago after 10 years. Because of all of his accomplishments, he was quickly asked to come be a part of the philosophy department at Columbia. Here he was able to develop close contacts with other philosophers, which helped to strengthen his own thoughts and philosophy. During his first 10 years at Columbia, Dewey wrote several more books and essays. He continued to study educational theory and in 1916 wrote Democracy and Education, which has been considered his most important work in the field. Dewey retired from teaching in the 1930s, but even in his retirement he stayed busy. He was a member of several educational organizations, including the New York Teachers Guild and the International League for Academic Freedom. He also continued writing. In his lifetime, he wrote over 1,000 pieces, including books, articles, and essays. Dewey died on June 2, 1952, at the age of 92. The central basis of John Dewey's theories and studies revolve around experimentalism. One question that Dewey often posed was, how are these experiences educated? He put a strong emphasis on the principles of experience, inquiry, and reflection as the key elements of a theory of knowing and service learning. He strongly believed the principle of continuity. This is the idea that experiences build on previous ones. Dewey also believed in the principle of interaction which states that learning occurs in the experiences a student has with his or her environment. The last key to Dewey's ideas of learning is that learners are provided time for reflective thinking. Dewey's ideas still relate to education today because now more than ever we as educators are trying to create learning environments that focus more on student experiences and hands-on learning. One thing I really liked that Dewey addressed about experimental learning is that it must meet four criteria. Projects must be interesting, worthwhile, generate curiosity, and cover a considerable time span that allows development. John Dewey had a major impact on education as we know it today. During his time, education was as basic as teachers giving information and students doing their best to retain that information.
but with Dewey's research and philosophies, education has been transformed for the better. We now know that students learn in a variety of ways. It is our job as educators to create experiences that foster learning and then create new experiences that build on the previous ones.